question. What's the story on Social Security and Medicare? Are you for it or against it? Well, you know, th this question, I think, has been asked by a number of outlets, and I think that the uh, response that's been provided by the media doesn't really accurately reflect where we stand. Uh, let me make it straight. I mean, my parents are dependent on Social Security. Uh, that's their primary source of income. Uh, they receive Medicare. They're out here working on the campaign. Uh, it's critical that this government get control of the fiscal insolvency that's upon us all in order to ensure that those commitments that we've made to those most dependent on Social Security are maintained. If we don't get a grip, on the fiscal situation of this country, uh, it's very likely that, in fact, we're going to break the contract that we have with our seniors. I do believe that it's entirely irresponsible of the leadership in D.C. to ignore the crisis, though, that's coming upon us, uh, not just the fiscal crisis, but also the one that's bearing down on Social Security. If you look at, for example, the inlays coming into Social Security as of April this year, they were outstripped by the payments. Uh, that's the first time in a while that that's happened. It's projected to continue for several years, and if we don't get a grip on that now. If we don't can't come up with solutions, you know, whether it be privatization, personalization, or some other solution, uh, which frankly, uh, you know, it's our preference that that be a transferred power to the states. Uh, that's really what the constitutional basis of our platform has been, that we need to get back to uh, transferring many of the powers of the federal government uh, to the and, states. We believe that that's what the Tenth Amendment provides.